Let's have dinner on a houseboat. Yakata bune. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In this video, we are going to eat teppanyaki on a houseboat called Yakatabune. I even explain how to make a reservation and how to get on the boat, so this video will be useful when you come to Japan. I'll be introducing lots of delicious food and the view from the boat, so please stay tuned. Now, let's get started. Ah,、uh, I'm hungry. I haven't had teppanyaki in a while. I could make it at home, but I'd rather eat it at the restaurant. Oh, I know. There's a houseboat called Yakatabune where you can eat teppanyaki, so let's introduce it to you. First of all, I'll make a reservation on the internet. You can search by Edomae Kisen. Make a reservation on this URL page. It's also available in English and Chinese, so you can rest assured. Click here to go to the reservation page. You can pay in advance by credit card. This time, we'll have a course that includes monjayaki and other teppanyaki dishes. Now, let's go! We are at Shinkiba Station in Tokyo. I took the Yurakcho subway line to get here. By the way, you can also take the JR Keio line, so search the internet for the nearest one. When you get off the station, wait at the bus stop in front of you. Here it is! You can find the bus stop location and bus schedule on the website. Here comes the bus! It's a cool bus with a picture of a sumo wrestler on it! We'll be on this bus for about five minutes. Here I am! This is Edomae Kisen, where we'll be boarding the houseboat. There's a big portable shrine at the reception desk. Isn't it a gorgeous gold colored portable shrine? There are not many places where you can see it right in front of you, so it's very precious. There are also many other things that will make you feel like you are in Japan. You can actually take this lion dance and take a picture. There is also a Japanese umbrella. There's even a Japanese sword, so you can become a demon slayer.
There's also a palanquin outside to carry people. You can't ride it, but two people can carry it. So give it a try. This time, we'll be taking a houseboat from Shinkiba to Odaiba, one of Tokyo's most famous tourist spots. Let's get to the boat. It looks cool, like a wall from a Japanese movie. I can see the houseboats. There are so many of them. We'll be on this yellow houseboat. This is what it looks like when you enter the boat. Be careful because the ceiling is low. We are off. Let's have a beer first. Cheers! It's fun to see the sights of Tokyo from a boat. I didn't know there was such a view. By the way, there's an English menu with pictures. Let's do the teppanyaki. Let's make it from monjayaki when it is lit and oiled. First, let's cook the rice cake and spicy cod roll. Let's cut the rice cake into small pieces. Let's add the vegetables. Save the soup because we'll add it later. Once the vegetables are cooked, make a donut shape and crumble the spicy cod roll. I'll put the soup here. Let's mix it all together. The rice cakes have melted and become soft and fluffy. Once flattened, the monjayaki is ready. The sauce is so spicy, it'll make you want to drink more. The spicy cod roll is delicious. There's nothing like eating while looking at the ocean. The boat is going fast. We could even see Tokyo Tower. Once we've gotten rid of the char on the iron plate, we can start cooking next dish. First, let's put the pork on the iron plate. Cut the pork into bite-sized pieces, then add the vegetables.
stir it so that it doesn't burn and bake until it's cooked. It's done! It's stir-fried vegetables seasoned with salt and garlic. The fatty pork makes the cabbage and bean sprouts taste even better. Good food makes for good drinking. The Rainbow Bridge, the entrance to Odaiba, is coming into view. I've never been under the Rainbow Bridge before. Let's get to the next dish. Put the pork on an iron plate and cut it into small pieces. When the pork is cooked, add the rice and kimchi. I'm going to cook it, stirring well so that the flavors blend. Pork kimchi fried rice is ready. The spicy smell is appetizing. The fat of the pork makes it even more delicious. We've arrived at our destination, Odaiba. There is Fuji TV, which is famous for its spherical building. Our next dish was prepared by the restaurant staff. Let's grill the pork, squid, and shrimp and cut them into small pieces. When it's cooked, Mix it with the okonomiyaki ingredients containing cabbage and eggs. I'll bake it when it's mixed well. Once it's in a round shape, add some oil around it. The oil will give it a crunchy texture. Let's turn it over. That's great! They are professionals! Press down with a spatula to form a dome. Turn it over and let it cook slowly. When it's done, pour the sauce over it. The domed shape makes the sauce look more beautiful. I'll put mayonnaise on it. Let's make patterns with a spatula. It's an artistic okonomiyaki. Let's sprinkle green lava and dried bonito flakes. It's done! It's a beautiful okonomiyaki. Let's cut it up and eat it! It's cooked just right!
hot okonomiyaki is absolutely delicious. The sweet and spicy sauce goes well with the mayonnaise. Okonomiyaki baked by professionals is different. The boat is heading back from Odaiba to Shinkiba. Let's make one last thing. Cut the pork and fry it with the vegetables. When it's cooked, I'll add the noodles. When it gets browned, add two kinds of sauce. I'll bake it while letting the taste blend in. The sauce yakisoba is ready. The smell of the burnt sauce is very appetizing. The vegetables are crunchy and have a nice texture. The noodles are chewy and delicious. I love eating on a houseboat. The boat is approaching the departure point. We're back. That was so much fun. My clothes have become stinky, so let's deodorize them. Let's go home feeling refreshed. Well, this time, in this video, I introduced the houseboat where you can enjoy the panyaki. But how did you like it? Is there a dish you'd like to try? If there's a dish you liked or a restaurant you'd like me to introduce in the future, please let me know in the comments. There are still a lot of interesting restaurants in Japan that you don't know about. So, I'll introduce them in another video. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.